Adding a subdomain using cPanel, log into your cPanel and click on the subdomains icon. Now a subdomain is very valuable, uh, much better than creating a folder, say for a members area or for support. Let's create one for members. And the reason for that is a subdomain, now here you can set up the redirect or you can actually build a domain in the subdomain. It'll have a CGI panel. So we'll add this subdomain as is. Now a subdomain and you'll see this will be uh, members.homeremedyinfo.com can be submitted to a sub uh, search engine just like a top level domain. Now you can see that this has been added so if you were to type in your browser http colon slash slash go to your new subdomain within an hour or so it will have resolved and you can start loading pages into it. And once again these pages will be treated like a top level domain when submitted to a search engine whereas homeremedyinfo.com slash members is just a folder under a top-level domain. A subdomain is treated by the search engine like a top-level domain. So you can put support, members, help, videos, various subdomains. A lot of cPanels give you a limit to this number of subdomains you can create, but use them wisely and submit them to search engines. And if you go back, you'll see that the subdomain has been created and you can add a new one if you like you can do different things here but this shows your current subdomain is members and that's all there is to adding a subdomain use your FTP program start loading up your pages